bringing a herd up through the plains of Texas on the Sedalia, Missouri Trail, you need three things. One of them, air, we have more than enough of. Another, grass, usually in good supply. But the third is another story. It's always with us. The need for water. Sometimes it's a real job to find it. And it's my job. Gil Favor, trail boss. What do you mean, your cattle? These cattle belong to Mr. Favor's herd, and I'm taking them back there. You ain't taking them nowhere. You look at their brands, mister. I looked at them. Brands can be marked over easy enough. You want to do this fair, one at a time? One at a time. Which one is going to be first? Let's get him. Like it better down there than you do in the saddle? Your joking's about as funny as your scouting, Pete. At least I managed to stay astride. You're gonna have to learn to give a low branch a wide berth, Rowdy. I'll knock your teeth down your lousy throat when we got time for it. Right now we got business. Some Jaspers jumped me. Oh? How many of them? Well, there were four of them. They made off with about 20 of our cattle. Can't be far over that ridge, though. We can catch up to him. Now, wait a minute. That's for Mr. Favor to say. Look, the herd's two miles back there. We'll lose a lot of time riding back there. There's only four of them. There's only four of them that you saw. You don't know how many of them there are waiting over there. You scared, Pete? No, I'm not scared. Mr. Favor runs this outfit. Well, that's what I said. Let's go get Mr. Favor. Come on, Pete. You didn't pay any mind to our brand, huh? Quint! Scarlet! They could see our brands weren't fresh and marked over. Some men uh, borrowed 20 of our cattle. We're gonna go collect them. From the way they said hello to Rowdy, they might not be too obliging. Let's go, boss. Rowdy, you take over the herd till we bring them back in. Oh, I've got a score to settle with. That's just why you're staying. Right here's where I found Rowdy. Looks like they go this way.
six of them. Less than two miles from the herd, and they're stamping our beef. Think I know the man in charge. Pete, you and I'll go in. Scarlet, you and Quince cover us. You can tell your men to put up their guns, Jess. Put it down. You have business to me, favor? You know I do. Well, spit it out. The man's got something in his mind, I'll like him come straight out with it. I'll come out with it. I'm driving herd on the Sedalia Trail. You're boss in the herd now, huh? Come a long way since I first laid eyes on you. First time on the Sedalia. Not my worry somebody put a herd in your trust. My steers carry my trail brand. Nothing new or great about that. Us old-timers always had a trail brand. You look real hard at those steers you're about to brand. You'll see what my stamp looks like. Meaning? Meaning you're branding my cattle. You accusing me of stealing cattle? You must have seen our dust. You knew there was a herd going through. I knew your herd was passing through. You've been dropping off strays all over the prairie, careless-like. One of my men tried hazing them in. Your men jumped him. But then I'm not telling you anything you don't know, am I? The man we jumped was trying to take Mr. Ho's cattle from us. Ho's cattle wearing our brand? You're forgetting the law, son. Strays and brush cattle on the open range. Finders, keepers. And whose law is that? Mine. And I can make it stick. Is that how you're building up a herd? Finding other people's strays before they're lost. I don't need your cattle. I got enough of my own to buy and sell you. But a careless trail boss deserves to lose what he can't handle. You used to be a trail boss, Jess. What would you do in my place? My day, I had no problems. I used to arrive at the railhead with more cattle than I started with. No doubt about that. Yes, I've given you every chance to say you made a mistake. Now I'm taking my strays back. Pete, start hazing them in. I came here expecting to catch up with rustlers. Now I'm taking them back with or without a fight. It's up to you. If you want to fight, we'll sell you one cheap. Let them go. But, Mr. Hode, you said... Let him go. Let him take him. He'll give us more on this bunch. Later. Without a fight. Seem like there's a drop in this part of Texas. Should be. I've heard the wells is one of the most dependable water holes in the whole drive. What happens if it ain't? You get there and see it's dry. There'll be plenty of time to start worrying. Sorry, boy, no water. The herd can't stand much more of this heat without water, boy. They can stand a lot when they have to. Sometimes it's harder on the men. How far is it to Trader Wells, anyway? About three miles. Should be there before dark.
always make a habit of shooting at people you don't know? Just another warning, Mr. Favor. Warning for what? Not to come in, to move on. Take your cattle and go around. And why? This is private water. Private? This is open range. This water's free to all. It's private range now, and it's private water. Oh. Just hoods, I suppose. Just hoods. Look, those cattle have got to have water out there. I got my orders, mister. I say to move on. You ought to know Mr. Holt means it. You know there's probably no water for another 20 miles. Now, I'm telling you. You better head off your herd before they get this smell of water. If you don't stop them, we're going to have to shoot them. Mister, you see, because of the drought, there's not enough water to go around. It's either your cattle or ours. So you're just going to make sure by taking over the water hole. It's our land and our water. My father has a right. Your father? I'm Jim Holt. I want to talk to your father. Where is he? At the ranch. How far is that? An hour's ride. All right, let's go see him. All right. But turn your herd first. Get him down, Pete. Hold him if you can. And don't get in any fights. We'll be back before sunup. You think you can change old man Hode's mind? You got any other ideas? Yeah. Fair keep. Jim, there isn't... No, no, Ma, there's no trouble. These men just want to see Pa. My name's Faber, Mrs. Hode. This is Robbie Yates. Honored to have you. Won't you come inside? Well, uh, thank you, Mrs. Hode, but if we can just see your husband. Well, he's, he's down to the corral, Jim. Oh, sure, Ma. Now, you just come inside and wait in the parlor. We can wait out here. Well, we're uh, kind of dusty. Please, Mr. Favor, please come in. Why in here, in, in the parlor? This is very nice, Mrs. Hogue. It sure is. This is the prettiest parlor I've seen since... Uh... First part I've seen since San Antonio. Well, go on, sit down. Oh, well, we don't want to get nothing dirty in there. Oh, you don't need to fear that. You don't need to feel uncomfortable. That's why Mr. Hode doesn't like this room. He says it makes him feel uneasy. But I don't mind cleaning up a bit of dirt. You sit down. All right. You know, that's what a room's for, to be used. I don't mind cleaning up afterward. But Mr. Hode, he says it's foolishness having a parlor like this fit for visiting ladies when there ain't any ladies to visit. No closer than two, three days by buckboard. I guess you are pretty much alone. And you haven't come on any social visit, have you? Well, not exactly, Mrs. Hode. It doesn't matter. It's a pleasure to have you. You'll stay the night, you and your friend. I'm afraid we have to get back to the herd. Well, you'll, you'll stay for supper at least. Jerry, there ain't no need of that. Howdy, trail boss. I figured you'd come to talk. All right, come on. Jess, you can talk in here. This ain't female talk. We make ourselves easy. Come on. Thanks, Mrs. Hoden. It's a real nice parlor. We uh, don't need the young'uns. Boys, show them the place. But, Pa, I'd you like... You hear? To... All right. Come on. Out the shed. Only place around here a man can take his ease anymore. <laughs> Leather work. You must have a top hand. The best. Me. Have a tin? The 
the same liquid fire you always used? Same. Tan hide to cut the fat off you. You better have some. Thanks. Same. Some said this acid is what made you the toughest boss in the Arizona Trail. You think so? No, I always had it figured the other way around. It was the only thing that had improved your disposition. Uh, there was something else eating in your guts. You figure that? I finally figured you were just born mean. Born fighting. Born working anyhow, and I'll die that way. Young'uns coming in here and taking over the herds. You think you was put in my place because you could boss a herd better? Do you know more about trailing, about cattle, about men? You think you was tougher? <laughs> no, sir. Just the owners thought I was too old. Too old, me. I could always spit any man younger than me, still can. Man is never too old to ride, fight, or boss. Just some ignorant Jasper think that he is. Wait till it happens to you. So that was it. Always knew you had no use for me. Just couldn't figure out why. Now you're gonna find out that I can still fight, and that I'm still the boss. I didn't come here to fight. I came about water, Jess. You're on my range. You want my water? No. You know you got no real claim to it, Jess. Who's got better? Who come this waste and built this place? You got a herd out there needs water? Well, I got cattle, too, a lot of them. Yeah, and I know how you got them, too. Sure, I took other people's strays. Scrub cattle, put my brand on them, why not? A man's got to look out for himself. Jess, you must like being hated. This is business. Friendships for small boys. Now, uh, like I said, I got cattle, too. There's water enough for both, and you know it. But what's your price? Half. Half? And I'll do the picking. You bring your herd into water and leave half. That's my price. You know I can't do that, Jess, even if I wanted to. Those aren't my cattle. I'm just running them for others. An awful lot of small ranchers would be wiped out if only half this herd get through. You're breaking my heart. You think I'm too old to be tough? Too old to be boss? You're not bigger than the law, Jess. This has always been open range, free to all. You're not gonna change that. You, uh... You take your herd on to Wolf Creek in the morning. If I bring him into water here anyway... We'll be waiting. Thirty men just waiting, looking down rifle barrels. You handle that, Mr. Trail Boss? <laughs> you want to, you, you try. Have another drink. Oh, Mr. Favor, I just came down to see about supper. Afraid I won't be staying, Mrs. Hogan. Sorry. Are you sending him away? That's up to him. Couldn't you have helped him whatever he needed? Couldn't you have made a friend? We don't need no friends. Don't we? Goodbye, Mrs. Hogan. You're a vicious man, Jess. Carry your Virginia softness never has changed me. Oh, I gave that up. You're what you are, and I've lived with you this long. But, Jess, I'm not going to have my boy grow up in your image. He's a hoe, ain't he? I'll send him back east. No, you won't. He's my boy, and he wants to be here. Carry, a man's got to be hard. I kick some of that softness out of him, he'll be fit for the world. You'll see. Well, Mr. Favor, you just gotta understand. There just isn't enough water. Yeah, sure, son. You go right on believing that. That's right, isn't it, Pa? There isn't enough water. Ain't too much. Too bad you had to turn him down. You used to be a trail boss just like him. I was a trail boss, but never like him. In my day, we let nothing stand in our way. 
My herd was thirsty, I watered them. What if some rancher stopped you? Nobody stopped me, boy. They just tried. I didn't ever like favor. I didn't run, I... I fought. I don't think Mr. Favor ran, Pop. Well, you can still see it does. Well, he walked away from useless bloodshed, but sometimes it takes more courage to do that. Courage? Before you start talking about courage, you better show some of it. So far, I ain't seen a sign of it in you. Maybe you haven't. Maybe I haven't got the kind of courage you're talking about. But you didn't answer my question. You sure there isn't enough water? I'm sure there ain't enough water. For him. <laughs> Favor, it's gonna be awful hard to keep him going. I know that water's back there. Just keep after him, Pete. Keep him from heading back. Yeah, if we can. You know, I think we ought to have that fight back there. No, Pete. Money's not worth men dying, ours or his. We've got a good chance of getting through to Wolf Creek. Who's that? <laughs> Well, I just came out on a chance, Mr. Favor, that maybe you'd let me ride along. Ride along? You tell your father we're moving on to Wolf Creek and we won't be needing an escort. My father has nothing to do with this. He doesn't even know I'm here. He'd probably skin me alive if he found out. Then why are you here? I've been back east to school for six years. I've got a lot to learn. I figured maybe I could learn from you, Mr. Favor. I've never been on a cattle drive before. I thought maybe I could ride along for a couple of days, do my share of the work, pay for my food. What do you think, Pete? I don't know, Mr. Favor. Some of the men won't like it. His old man's cause... The boy's not to blame for what his father does. The men will know that. Maybe. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, sir, I'm sure. Uh, can't do any more harm. Another hand will be welcome for a couple of days. Just one thing. Don't get in any arguments with the men. Tempest is short enough as it is. Just keep your mouth shut, do what you're told. Yes, sir. give a lot to be in Abilene right now. Put on the bar and a big shot of red eye in my hand. Whoo! Well, they say the hotter the drink, the cooler it makes you feel. I should have brought some of my father's special whiskey. <laughs> Liquid fire. You ought to have brought some of your old man's water.
Coming up slow. Fill our canteens, water our horses. Maybe tonight, if we don't find better, we can bring the extra horses, water them, and relays. That's if it lasts. What about the cattle, Mr. Favor? Quite like the water hole back at your old man's place, is it? Creek and this heat keeps up, we'll lose more than a few. And I don't see any signs of it getting better. I hate to see you lose your cattle, Mr. Favor. We won't lose too many, as long as there's water at Wolf Creek. You go on ahead and scout it, Pete. All right, let's get moving. Check the herd. Save me a slice of that fresh loaf. If you want anything with it, you're gonna have to milk one of them steers. Boy, man sure was right when he said if he owned Texas and hell, he'd rent out Texas and live in hell. Boy, ain't that the truth. Anybody want any more? Ain't nothing to go with it. Tell me, Wishbone. I think we'll make it through all right. I don't know. I ain't seen it worse than this. It's gonna be a hard drive. One ain't none of us gonna forget. Yeah. Well, it's one of us I hope don't forget it. Enjoying your meal, Mr. Hode? Too bad there isn't any coffee to go with it. Some fella back there at uh, Trader Wells needed all the water. Now look. My father's got a herd of his own to look out for. You think our herd's gonna drink up that whole pond? Maybe not. Or is your old man's herd bigger than I hear it is? Well, he's got plenty, I reckon. He ain't got any neighbors to bother him anymore. Yeah, well, he packs a lot of rope. Swings too wide a loop, I figure. I mean your old man's little chalice with a branding iron. That's what I mean. Oh, go on now. Them just little old brush mavericks. Critters he picked up out in the wide open prairie. Or so he says. I'd hate to turn your hides inside out. Might make a liar out of you. Now, wait a minute. My father's got a big herd. That's right. But that don't mean he stole it. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. And I don't ever want to hear you call him a thief. I'll call him one and you too if I feel like it. Now, who started this? You stay out of this, boss. I'm, I'm whipping myself a cattle baron, like I always wanted to. Uh, well, you've got so much energy, you go out and ride night herd a while. Well, what are you sticking up for him for? What's he doing around here, anyway? Spying for his old man? Picking out his half or something? Get going, Roddy. We don't want no hoden camp. I said move. Now, that goes for all of you. It's gonna take every hand to keep him on the bed ground tonight. They're so water hungry, they won't even lie down. Nobody gets any sleep. Now move out. What about him? What is it? Don't you hear so good? Jim. Wait a minute. 
Mr. Faber, what did Rowdy mean? Picking out my hat. Oh, that's something you'll have to ask your father about. I told you not to argue with him. Yeah, I know, but they were talking about my father. They said he stole a herd he runs. That isn't true, is it? Like I told you, some people talk. Is it true, Mr. Favor? He grew up in a different world. He had to be tough. He was. Maybe we owe him a lot for it, but... But like a lot of old men, he won't change. And the world around him keeps changing. Maybe someday, sometime, you'll be able to help. Now get on back to the herd. Yes, sir. Scouted Wolf Creek up and down 10 miles or more. Not a trace, not even enough for the horses. Which means we won't have any water before we get to Red Rocks. And that's three days normal drive and four days this way. I don't think we can make it. What are we gonna do, boss? Only one thing to do. Back to Trader Wells. Better half a herd than none. Well, we wanna go back there, but we wanna go back and fight. Yeah, let's not let the old... It's guy. not worth it. You give in to Hoden now, you're gonna lose about half your men. Meaning I might lose you? Maybe. Well, maybe with only half a herd, I'll only need half the men. Mr. Favor? What do you mean, half a herd? Your father's water comes pretty high. Maybe I could talk to him. You think you'll even hear you out? My name's Hoden, too. I gotta live with it. I'll ride in with you at sunup. We can do our own talking. Yeah, our own way. That's enough. Rowdy, you take the horses out and water them at that sea pool. Scarlet, you let the herd go. They'll head back toward the water they know. We can gather them in the morning. You think he's even going to make a dent on that old cuss? I'm afraid it's not too likely. Then what you going to do? You going to give in? Or you going to fight? Well, let's take care of right now first, huh? And get back with the herd. Jim, son, where you been? I've been half crazy. I'm all right, Ma. Where's Dad? In the shed. Mr. Favor. Trouble's come, hasn't it? Maybe. Pa? Well, well, you're getting mighty independent, ain't you, taking out like that? Where you been, hunting? You've been with me. Go, you on a cord, Jim? Father, well, something I gotta ask you. I'm asking you. How is it you went with him? I wanna learn. Trail herding? You could learn from the best right here at home. That whelp never saw the day he could boss a herd as good as I can. No matter who says I'm too old. I figured you'd be back. I heard how it was up ahead. Pa, did you demand half of Mr. Favor's cattle for the water? You got an advantage, boy. You take it. Time you learn that. You can't do that, Pa. They need water. And there's plenty now. I know that. You gotta let them have it. Nobody's gotta do nothing, boy. Do you hear? I may be older than some, but the time ain't come when you or anybody can tell me what to do. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Think of Ma and me. We got your name. I don't want anybody saying wrong things about it. What things? That you're a thief. He tell you the way I started our herd? No, he didn't. You tell me, Pa. All right. Time you knew. Time you learned what life is all about. You want to be a cattleman? All right, I'll, I'll tell you. They said I couldn't boss a herd no more. Well, I decided I'd show them, build my own herd, boss the whole range, and I'd done it. When we come to this place, there was nothing, nothing. And we had nothing. 
Your mother's little legacy sent you back east for learning. Then I pitched in. Starving almost at first. But with the railroad coming, I knew what beef would mean. And I got it wherever I could. Sure, in the scrub or on the prairie. What if some of them didn't have brands on them? Any fool didn't have sense or guts enough to look out for his own deserved to lose them. I built up my herd. With a long rope of branding iron and maybe a shot in the back some dark night? And I ain't sorry for any of it. Because I ain't poor no more. And nobody tells me what to do. Nobody. Not you. And not you, boy. You want to be a cattleman? That's how it's done. That's for me. You're a hoed. You gotta be hard, boy. You gotta have guts. All this is gonna be yours someday when I'm gone. You think I wanna be hated like you are? No, boy. No! Why, you little brat? Come back here, you... Jim! Jim, come back here! Favor. You turn my son against me. You nose in my business. All right. You want water? Well, the price has gone up. You can have the water for the cattle. All of them. Even trade. That's no trade. He knows that. Just his way of making me fight. Or turn tail and run. Now you bring your cattle into water. Go ahead. We'll be awake. Favor, I don't know what to say. You tried, Jim. Thanks. Well, you can't fight them. They outnumber you. Either way, we lose our cattle. And you know my boys won't run. Sorry. Oh, Mr. Favor, run for your life. He's a crazy man. He won't hesitate to kill you. Run and take my boy with you and... Send him back east where he can have a decent life. I can't do that, Mrs. Hogue. And Jim will have to make his own decisions. Goodbye. coming? Ah, uh, do you know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Do you? Yes. I can't come with you, Pa. Can't fight against them. I might have known that you're spineless. You got that same Virginia softness as your mother. You stay here and be a woman. We don't need you. in up there. Yeah. They're right back this side of the water and right across the only way in. Any way we can outflank them? I don't know. They're free to move around. We got a herd of cattle. Maybe we can make the cattle work for us and break through their lines. No, we'll have to leave the herd behind us. If we went in with them, they'd just let the cattle through, then pick us off all scattered out like that. We'll stay together. Whatever you say. Hold it, Roddy. He tried to help us. Boss, I don't trust him. Don't let me worry about that. I'm going in with you. Fight your father? Well, I didn't bring a gun, but I want to be counted with you. I'll bet your old man sent you in here. 
I don't blame you for thinking that. But I'm here because I've got to be. Maybe I can help out a little. All right. Just be back with the herd. No. I gotta be up in front. Or he can see me. See what he's doing. It's up to you. Mr. Hode, here they come. Can't do that, Pa. We're coming in. But tell them to let us through and not to shoot. No, sir. The cattle can come. Any man that tries it, he's dead. Then I'll come first, Pa. You can shoot me. Jim! Come ahead! You don't have to go through with it, boy. Yes, I do, Mr. Favor. All right, let's go. Jess! Carrie. You better tell them not to fight. Because if you hurt my boy, I'm going to kill you. Carrie, you're my wife. And he's my son. And yours, too. I mean it, Jess. Thank you, Jim. You 
He's been sitting like that ever since. Not saying a word, not moving. You take him his food, he just stares at him. Kind of hurts me to look at him. It's hard for a man like him to be beaten. By his own family at that. The way he looks at Jim. No, Jim will do all right. Well. You going now? Cattle are watered. I'm afraid you're going to have some cleaning to do. Mr. Favor, I'm glad you came by anyway. Thanks. Well, now look out there. It's Jim. Find out if I can take it. Only one way to find out, son. And they're both drinking out of that old jug. Man, now sakes. don't scold him, Mrs. Ho. It's nothing like a jug for patching up a quarrel. Just leave him be. Well, I'll stop back sometime and visit. Let's have another 